I'm wearing the same shirt as one of my other ones. I have to show you this one. This was from my Target haul. Isn't that cute? Sometimes all you need is a billion dollars. So true. So today I am going to talk about hits and misses. These are things that I've tried and um, things, you know, tr things that I tried that I liked, things that I tried that I didn't like. Um, several of these are actually from the drugstore. I'm just looking at my haul here. Yeah, several of these are from the drugstore, so, and I like them. So you're going to be excited about that, okay? So before we get started, make sure you click that button below and hit the subscribe button, okay? Come on and join me. Uh, hit that subscribe button. So you're going to help mommy get to 10,000, okay? Um, so click that subscribe button. Make sure that you click on that notification bell. Check that box if you're on the desktop too because you have to click the bell. They make you do two steps. I don't know why. YouTube, come on. Um, but it's worth it. I'm worth it. I promise I am. Um, make sure you click that bell because anytime I have a new video, you will be notified. Okay, so let's get into this. All right. So, okay. I have to talk about this first. This foundation I tried last... I don't remember last winter or something. I heard a lot of talk about this foundation, how great it was and everything. So I was so excited to try it and I hated it. And I just, I, I kept trying and trying and trying to like this foundation because everybody, so many people like it and it just does not work out for my skin. I just hate the way it looks on my skin. I hate it. No matter when I try it, I feel like it brings out all the dryness in my skin. Um, it just doesn't, it settles in fine lines. It just doesn't work for me. Now, again, I have, I have oily and dry skin. I have combo skin. Um, but I know people that have combo skin and love it. I don't know. It just, I, this does not work for me. And this is the Shishido Synchro Skin Lasting Liquid Foundation. I have tried to like this. I've tried and tried and tried and tried to like this, but I can't like it because it just is not working for me. I don't know. I've tried. I've tried and I can't. I can't do it. can't do it. I'm going to have to uh, give it up. I wish I would have returned it. Now I'm stuck with crappy foundation that was expensive. Um, but I just thought all these people love it so much. I just hate it. I hate this foundation. Horrible. Another foundation that I ordered, I think last winter, that I tried and tried and tried and again, I wish I would have returned this. I don't even know if I should try it again. And this is from Lancome. It's the Lancome Photogenic Luminous. It has an SPF of 15. It's light mastering line smoothing makeup. I hated it. It just doesn't work on my skin. It just doesn't look good on my skin. It's just horrible. I've tried it and I tried it and I tried it and I don't think I'm going to try it anymore. Done with those. So I am looking for another mascara again because um, my lashes are starting to grow. These are my lashes. I'm not wearing any false lashes today. These are my lashes. So I have been using the YSL Waterproof Mascara. I really love this mascara, but here's the problem with it. It's transferring on my eyes. So when I wear it, since my lashes are longer now, they're touching my my skin and then I have a nice little little black line there by the end of the day or some dots up there by the end of the day so now I'm looking for a new mascara so that I will try the drugstore so I tried the mega plush volume express waterproof this is the biggest bunch of crap that I've ever seen in my life for a mascara first of all what is with the wand like what what why why is this why is it why why are we doing this why why are we moving why does a wand need to move one doesn't need to move one needs to stay in place this is stupid this is just a piece of crap this is horrible look what the no and then I put the mascara on where's the mascara can't see it I'm putting it on putting it on maybe because this stupid thing moves around I don't know this garbage okay I tried the um, Maybelline lash sensational effect in waterproof mascara now this one isn't a comparison with this because I love this one except for the fact that it's transferring 
but for a drugstore, not bad. It's got a wand that I'm usually not really thrilled with, but it goes on really nice, separates my lashes. I'm not wearing this one today, actually. I'm wearing another one I'll talk about in a minute. I like it, but it's just not, it's just not there, but it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not complete, you know, garbage. So I decided to go back to uh, Lancome and order their mascara because they're known for their great mascaras. Okay, so this is the Lancome Hypnose Drama in Waterproof. Okay, and I'm wearing it today. So far it's not transferring, but you know what this does? Leaves little black dots all over my face. I have to keep on brushing off the black dots. So this, maybe sending that back because I just got that. Um, okay, I have to mention this eyeliner. This eyeliner is, and I shared this in a video recently, and I'm really liking this. Now I'm starting to like it as an eyeliner. Yeah, I'm starting to like it as an eyeliner. <laughs> and I'm just, that's all I have on today, okay? And I just use it on my upper eyelid. So this is the Eye Booster 2-in-1 Serum, and this is from Physician's Formula. And what have you told me about this? Because I've been using that Lash uh, Growth Serum, Revital Lash, okay? I've been using that for a while, and I just felt like it wasn't doing anything. Um, and I swear, I don't know what's in here, but when I started using this, plus I used my Revital Lash, my lashes are grown. I don't know. I don't know if it's a coincidence or not, but that's what, that's what, who told me? If you're the one that told me, leave a comment below, because I can't remember who told me that. Um, so I've been using this every day. So it's like, it looks like this. Okay, it's a nice brush. It's not a felt, it's um, it's like a brush, right? It's like, a, I think it's a brush, isn't it? I think so, it's like a fine brush. But I always store it too. I always store it upside down like this so it's ready to go instead of like that so it doesn't get all dried out. Um, I was feeling like I needed to use another liner over it and I, I didn't today. I actually did it and I, it worked out really, really well for me. So I'm really, really liking this lot and I would recommend it. Now, I don't know how this lash serum is on its own, if it'll work. I just think that with using my other lash serum that something's happening. Now, what it says on the box here, it says on here that it says, uh, over 72% of women saw luscious, glamorous, defined lashes after two weeks. Over 90% of women saw more luscious lash lashes. Well, that's hard to say fast. Glamorous and defined lashes after four weeks. And then on the back they show. Let's see if I can zoom it in. They kind of show a photo of what it, it looks like after they've been using it. So... Yeah, I don't know if it's on its own or not, but it's worth a try. I got this at Target. I purchased this at Target, and I believe it was like $8.99. It wasn't that expensive. So I'm really liking that. And we are going to talk about lips. So there's a new, um, to me, it's not new. It's a company called Number 7, and I guess that it's from the UK. And they sell it at a store called Boots. And so our Walgreens started selling this. Um, and I have to mention something really quick about this company, okay? So they got, they, re, they revamped, before I talk about the two products that I got, um, they revamped our Walgreens. And so they have a big um, NYX section there. They have, um, oh, there's another company, was it Soap and Glory, I think is what it's called. That's there. And then they have this huge number seven um, makeup skin line, okay? And so two times already I've gone in there and I'm just looking, you know, I'm looking and I like to like check things out, go home and see what reviews people have done on it, if they really like it or not, because I don't like having to return something. I just hate the hassle. And I always hope that when I review things, I hope it's helpful for you as well. I hope that, you know, if I'm reviewing something and you're thinking about getting it, I hope that what I'm telling you is helpful, okay? because it's always helpful for me when I'm watching a video or reading a review, I wanna know what somebody thinks, okay? And I always, when I read a review, I always look at the, like the worst, you know, rated and not the best. Cause I wanna know like what, what about this is just so horrible. Like I wanna know, okay? 
So anyway, so our Walgreens started selling it. And so I'm looking and twice now, I have like very pushy sales reps from the company. And I don't like that. I wish they would not do that. I almost don't even want to buy the stuff in the store. It's like, I want to look and I need your help. You know, first time I went to ours, you know, lady was really nice. Can I help you with anything? I'm like, no, I'm okay. So then I'm shopping. And then again, she like she came to me three times. It's like, you know what? No, I don't need any help. I've already told you three freaking times that I don't need your help. You know what I mean? I went into another Walgreens and I was like in a hurry. I was going to pick my daughter from school. And so I went in there. The things that I wanted to check out is the foundation because I have several foundations. So I wanted to check that out. So I was looking at the boxes and this lady would not leave me alone. And she's like, um, you know, I want to, how about if we do like a skin thing? I'm like, no, that's okay. I'm just, I'm, and then she like keeps on, are you sure? We're just like, oh my gosh, honey, I just told you like three times. I don't want you to help me. Like what the hell? So I almost don't even know if I want to purchase any more of this stuff because they're so freaking pushy. Does anybody else experience that? Do you have that at your Walgreens? I mean, I'm almost at the point where I want to say something to the manager, like, listen, like, I don't, I'm not even interested in going to that department anymore. If I'm going to be like, sales pitch if i freaking want something i will tell you i'm not gonna tell you no like don't push like don't sells me like i don't like anybody selling me if you sell to me i will leave i will leave that store and i will never come back i don't like pushy salespeople. when i was in a hair salon i wasn't one of those pushy hairdressers who are like oh yeah you need this and this no i'm not that person i'm not a pushy salesperson if i like something it's then in my channel if I like something, I'm going to share it with you guys if I love it. And I'm being honest if I love it. Like, I'm excited to share it with you because I love it. But I'm not being pushy. You can either look, you know, purchase it or not. Go look into it or not. I don't really care. I'm just sharing it because I like it. You know what I mean? But I don't like pushy salespeople. Don't try to push it on me. Because I'm not one of those people that's going to be like, okay, no, I'm not. Now you just, I'm never going to come back to your store again. That's what you did. You just pushed me out the door. So don't. Done. Okay. Now that I said that. Okay. So I wanted to try their foundation. Now I don't know if I want to. Um, so I purchased two things from them. So this is their, um, one of their lipsticks that it's really pretty. I probably should have put it on. I guess I could put it on over what I wear and it's kind of wearing down, but this is number seven and it is, um, it's called Honey Bloom 740. And it says in here it's made in Germany. I thought it was from the UK. So I'm going to put it on my, oh, on top. It's so pretty. It's really pretty. It's a nice creamy formula. It doesn't have a scent in it. And I love that. Really pretty. I really do like the lipstick and I can't remember. It's not really cheap either for a drugstore full to me. Um, I'm trying to think how much was this? Is it $12 for the lipstick? I think that's what it was, but don't quote me on that. Then I wanted to try their lip gloss. So I got the, oh, and you know what? Let me do a swatch on my hand really quick. I'm going to show you that. So, so that is the lipstick right there. Let's see if it'll focus. Isn't that a pretty color? It's a really, really pretty nude color. It's a nice formula. It's nice and creamy. I, I do like that. And so the other thing that I tried is I want to try one of their lip glosses. Focus. I want to try one of the lip glosses. So I got the High Shine lip gloss and this is, does it have a color on it or no? Um, sparkling Rose. So it looks like it's going to be really glittery, but I don't think it is when it's on. I'll put it on in a second. So this is what looks like the wand. Okay. And I am going to put it right here. I don't know if it's going to pick up on camera or not. It's really, really light though. See that? So it doesn't really look glittery to me. I thought it would have been, I was kind of worried about it, but it's really nice. It's a nice formula. It does have just a hint of a fragrance to it, but not much. Really, really nice formula though. I like it. It's not greasy. It's not sticky or tacky. It's really, really a nice formula. I think this might've been $8.99 or something like that. Not bad. 
So the last thing, oh no, actually I have one more thing. Um, so this is a Rimmel gloss and I actually found out about this from Lisa Lisa, um, from her, Lisa Lisa D1 from her channel, okay? And I have to tell you, when she was holding this, all I kept thinking about is, oh my gosh, I love the packaging because it's pink. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> but, so I had to get it. So this is from Rimmel and this is their Oh My Gloss and this is a oil tint, okay? So she said this is similar to the, um, I think it's the YSL has like an oil tint. Really, really nice. It looks like it's gonna be a bright pink, but it isn't. I'll show you. It's really light. I'm trying. Yeah, it has like a fruity scent to it. So this is, this is it down here. It's really light. It's really pretty. It looks a lot pinker on my hand than it is when I put it on my lips. It doesn't look that pink on my hand, but on my, I mean my lips, but on my hand, it looks like it's really pink. I don't know, when I put it on, it doesn't seem like it's that pink. I'll put some on, I have so much stuff on. I don't know what I'm doing, but like how much more stuff can I have on? Really, really nice again. It's not, it's not really greasy. It's a nice feeling on my lips. I can't remember what this was. It seemed like it was cheap. It seemed like it was like $3 or something. But really nice. So if you like a lip oil, you want something really light. I mean, this would be nice too if you just wanted to do a lip liner. Line your lips, fill your lips in, and then just put a little bit of this on. Be really, really pretty, especially if you have a color like Pillow Talk, like a nude, like a nude lip color would be really, really pretty with this. Really, really nice. And then the last thing that I tried, I'm going to give this to my daughter because it didn't work out for me. But I tried the... Um, I tried the Urban Decay Oil Slick uh, setting spray and I hated it. So I'm just gonna go back to the original formula because that one worked for me, but I just thought I would try something different. But while I was at the drugstore, I decided to get this. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus setting spray. Didn't work for me. I don't like it. I used it and it just seemed like my makeup didn't wear good at all the day that I use this. So I don't like this one. So that is it. Thank you so much again for joining me. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Please make sure you give this video a big, big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. This month, I'm teaming up with my friend Serena and we are sharing a new video every single day, just for the month of October. But normally I do videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you click on that bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And you can follow me on Facebook, Snapchat, and you can follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. I will leave the links below. I will leave the links below too with everything I shared in this video. And that is it. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you soon. Bye.